I'm John LeBlanc for Driving.ca. I'm at the 2015 Montreal Auto Show. And unlike the recent event held in Detroit, this show is much more oriented towards the Canadian new car buyer. Take for instance the three concept cars that we have here. All three are small crossovers that are better tuned to what the Canadian buyer is looking for. The first concept I have here is from Subaru. It's called the VZiv 2. It's actually the third concept in the VZiv line of concepts. It's quite interesting in the fact that it introduces a lot of new technologies, but probably more relevant for Canadian new car buyers is the looks of this concept will be reflected on the next generation Forester, which we're expected to see in a couple of years. The second concept making its North American debut at the 2015 Montreal Auto Show is the Hyundai Entrado. And like the Subaru concept, the Entrado kind of gives a hint of what the next generation Hyundai Tucson will look like. The Entrado is actually a full carbon fiber body. It's got a, a hybrid diesel power plant. But if you look at the exterior, a lot of what you're gonna see is what we're gonna see on the next generation Tucson. The third concept that's being debuted here in Montreal also came from last year's Geneva Auto Show. It's the Volkswagen T-Roc. And like the first two, it's based on a compact chassis. This time, it's the Golf. In, in essence, the T-Roc is probably the third concept that we're going to see today. It once again talks about the crossover market. It's going to end up in production at some point. You know, full coupe, not the convertible like what we see in the concept. Probably a different drivetrain. But once again, here's a car being shown in Montreal that more than likely in the next couple of years, you're going to be able to buy in a showroom. While compact crossovers are taking up a lot of attention here at this year's Montreal Auto Show, small cars in general are also very popular in Canada. And this year we've got new additions of the Mazda 2, a five-door Mini Cooper, as well as a refreshed version of the Acura ILX premium small car. Probably the most important small car introduction here at this year's Montreal Auto Show is the North American debut of the all-new Mazda 2. Now compared to the older model, this one's got much more updated interior, a lot more aggressive styling on the outside, and a Mazda-only drivetrain. The last vehicle was based on the Ford Fiesta. This time around, Mazda is hoping to increase sales and probably give an alternative to customers who might also be looking at their one size up larger Mazda 3. Another important small car introduction here in Montreal is an all-new Mini Cooper 5-door. Essentially, it's a four-door hatchback version of the Mini Hardtop. The idea is to be able to take friends, family along in what is really a small car and overall increase Mini sales in Canada. The last important new car introduction here in Montreal is a refreshed Acura ILX. Now, it's only been out for a couple of years. The last time around, the premium small car buyers really didn't take to this car. With new styling, upgraded interior, and upgraded powertrain selection, this time Acura is hoping to increase sales in what is becoming a very popular segment. The third big group of debuts here at the Montreal Show are mid-sized crossovers, led by the all-new Kia Sorento, which moves up into almost a luxury type of segment. Ford's bringing out a new Edge, which is one of the more popular vehicles in its class. It's more refined, there's more features, and it's the foundation of the luxury version of the Ford Edge, the second generation Lincoln MKX. Both of the vehicles really put a lot of features into a class that's becoming more and more popular. Once again, all of these vehicles are really replacing station wagons and they offer a lot of variety for families. They also all go on sale within the next few months. From the 2015 Montreal Auto Show, I'm John LeBlanc for Driving.ca.